Hello and welcome to my own magic reviews. My name is Mike Myone, and this is not another of my own reviews. Nope, today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to talk about a magic trick that was released just yesterday called The Black Mirror Project by David Jonathan. And we're going to do one thing that's even more interesting. We're not just going to talk about The Black Mirror Project. We're going to talk with David Jonathan. All right. Hi, David. Thank you for joining me on The Magic Review. I'm so excited to chat with you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Uh, that's great. Now, um, you know, I, I want to talk to you about um, your release, um, Black Black Mirror Project. But before yeah. we do that, um, I know a lot of people know who you are because you have so many products on the market, but I don't know if they know much about you. So um, so I'm going to ask you a little bit about how did you get into magic? So my dad was a hobbyist magician. So at around six, seven years old, around that time, uh, he perform magic for me for the first time and I fell in love with it and he saw I really was interested in how it all worked so you know he started to bring out the old chest of his magic tricks and started to teach me everything and we had a nice bonding moment over that so I just fell in love with it and started to learn started to perform some of the tricks and you know bought some of my own at the time uh and that carried all the way through so you know even my bar mitzvah was magic themed oh, it was like simpsons cool. and magic all combined so uh I, I loved it that much at the time then you know sort of as my years went on through like uh, high school and college it sort of took a back seat but the love was always there uh, and then it wasn't until I don't know, 12 years ago or so, my wife bought me a magic trick because she knew I was into it. And that just sort of like went into it full steam ahead, just reinvigorated my love and passion for it. Uh, and then realized that a lot had changed since then, that there's, you know, the whole online distribution of magic and opened up my eyes to all the wonderful things that are out there and sort of went a little overboard. And here we are. <laughs> Well, a lot of people get into magic and they perform magic, but not a lot of people get into uh, creating magic. How, how did you get into creating magic? Yeah, so um, it just sort of happened as like an itch to scratch. So uh, it wasn't like one day I said, you know, oh, I'm going to start creating magic. But it was, you know, I had learned a lot. And my favorite plot of magic at the time was any card, any number, probably still is. Uh, but it's one of those effects that's like put up on a pedestal. It's like the holy grail of card magic. And uh, it's one of the few, if not only, effects that magicians have a checklist when they see it. It's like, oh, is it a free choice of card? Free choice of number? Deck of food the whole time. Like, we don't do that for any other plot. So when I saw that, I was oh, learned so many methods and some were close. But one day I just said, all right, you know what? I'm going to throw my hand in here. Like, let's just, as a fun activity, try to check every box and come up with a method. And... After a while, I did. I cracked, you know, my list there, and I had an effect, and I shared it with a few friends and performed it and got great reactions, and that went on to become a thing, and then that gave me a lot of confidence of, like, oh, hey, you know, what else can I explore here? And then, uh, as things normally do with me, it gets to the extreme if I'm passionate about something, and here we are today. Well, you uh, you certainly have been a, a prolific uh uh, creator. I mean, let's take a look at uh, that's a, a graphic that uh, comes from your website. It's, it's all of the the tricks that you market. Um, and these yeah. are all commercial effects. Um, it's just amazing. Uh, and and you started creating magic that you know for commercial pieces. What? How many years ago? Um. So it was probably around like 2015 I started. So it's it's like 10 years of my life on the screen right there. Uh, it's kind of crazy. So my first marketed release was Fortuity uh, with Alakazam Magic. That was 2017. And then here we are, just got re-released as Fortuity 2 just a month ago. So uh, everything's coming back full circle. Yeah, now it, 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 it's a re-release. Why is it re-released? Did you make modifications on it? Have you improved it yet more, or just? Yeah. So um, it, the original was uh, it's a rainbow deck effect with prediction, uh -huh. 
Um, it's it's pretty cool. You can go to my site and check out the trailer. I I, I have it. As a matter of fact, I just got it. Um, uh, oh. uh, not too long ago. Um, but I didn't realize that were that it's been updated. So the original, yes, yeah, so the original was sourced literally from all random decks and put together. Whereas this one is now custom printed, ah, okay. which just feels a little nicer in your hands when it's all the same finished in stock. Uh, and because we were custom printing it. We made some little modifications and tweaks to the designs of the cards, things to help you out, uh, and uh, other little modifications. So uh, it's been off the market for uh, two or three years. It just couldn't stay on the shelves. So this was oh, finally back and, uh, better than ever. Look, I mean, it's just amazing. Look at that, to to look at all those. Let's <laughs> um, l let's talk about um, uh, inspiration. Where do you get your inspiration from for for magic? Um, so I, I started the journey with card magic and that was, you know, like John Bannon, Cameron Francis. I just love their style of magic, uh, more Neo Bannon, the self-working clever principles than the older Bannon, which was intense likes. Uh, but I just loved, you know, how they constructed their effects in such a concise way. Um, a big fan of Ryan Matney's work, but then. As I started to evolve, I sort of found my own style, which is uh, sort of mentalism or mental magic, but with fun topics and props. And uh, so someone like Nicholas Mavrasis, who is a very good friend of mine and frequent collaborator, like he has that same mindset of style as me. So I think I've sort of found my own lane now uh, in magic or mentalism world. All right. Well, I want to talk about your uh, your most recent release. This was released just yesterday, um, and uh, that's the the Black Mirror project. Uh, so, tell me about Black Mirror. What is it? So, Black Mirror is seven effects that all use this: uh, your iPhone and you're staring at a black mirror, hence the name. Uh, that's not mine, I didn't come up with that. So uh, Black Mirror, the TV series, one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, Charlie Brooker said the name of it means a cell phone that's turned off is a black mirror. So I just thought what a perfect way to pay homage to my favorite TV show and everything about your phone and some of the themes throughout that are used in this effect here. So, or effects, I should say, because this is seven routines all quite varied, but it's really all mentalism and crazy magic with your phone, uh, with no apps, which is pretty wild. Yeah, it certainly is. Now you were here just the other day and uh, mm -hmm. had a, you demonstrated a few of the effects. Um, so um, I, so I want to share that with uh, with our viewers, and and we'll start with uh, the book test. Yeah, let's do it. So, Mike, I'm going to try to get on the same mental page here, hopefully. Uh, a little bit of mind reading for you. Uh, I know you're a mentalist, so this shouldn't be foreign territory. So, uh, I have some books here. I don't like to carry a bunch of books around. I like to keep, you know, nice weight, light weight on the move. So, I have uh, five books here in my uh, books app mm -hmm. on my phone. Just go ahead and pick any one of those books. Any one? Yeah. Okay, this one looks it's interesting. Just touch it. Yeah, just pop into there. Okay. All right, so as you can see, um, you, know, you picked up Beyond Honor. It's a pretty good book. I haven't read all the way through. But if I swipe through here, you change the pages just like mm -hmm. so, right? So what I'm going to have you do is just hold the phone face down like this and just swipe to random pages. I don't want to influence page. you or anything. Okay. So just hold the phone just like that and just start swiping back and forth. You can go back and forth both ways whenever you like. Okay. You tell me why. Oh, right there. Right. Okay. So what I want you to do in a second is you're going to pick that up Look at the first line of text and find like a nice, interesting word there. First line? Yeah. Okay, got one. Got one? Uh -huh. Normally I have someone else here, so you would hand it now to a friend. Uh -huh. Let's mind that. <laughs> and then they would take the phone and do the same thing. Start swiping back and forth face down. Okay, so I'll be two people? Yeah, you're going to play okay. two people. Two words to remember, but it'll okay. be all right. Oh, uh, well, so keep going. Put it down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Back and forth. I'm ready. You get right there? Yeah. All right, so now spike there two. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick it up. First line, find a nice, long, interesting word for me. Okay, I have uh, the other word, Yeah. now I have this word. Okay. Okay, and you can lock the phone, put it down, we don't need that. Okay. So two words locked in your mind right now. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to go for it and be bold. I'm seeing chocolate, is that one of them? That's one. In, in investigation? 
fantastic. <laughs> it works. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Thank you. Tell me, tell me a bit about this. I mean, obviously, I was looking at um, uh, at books that you have in your uh, in your your catalog. Yeah, of books so on it, your phone. Uh, I'll just bring it up here so people can see. If it's not clear, so this is the actual books app on your phone, and you can go through. Uh, so basically, I brought you to my collections, uh, and you chose one of these books here. And then when you go in, so I know it didn't quite show up on the camera, perhaps but you're an actual page of the book where you can swipe back and forth. Now, am I limited to, um, to the, the, um, the, the five books that you have in your phone? I mean, uh, or are they going to be the books that I put in there? Uh, so yes and no. The secret is not in the book itself. So you can use any book you want that is not the method, uh, which is great because if you want to use your favorite book or any book that's, you know, a specific theme for you as a performer or whatever, you can do that. There is a bonus thing that I teach, which is what I showed for you, which is where you have a few different books in your uh, want to read collection. And then you can choose from any of those. So um, I show you how to do that with five. But once you understand that, you can expand that to as many as you want. Uh, but again, the secret's on the book. It's just nice to give uh, options of books they can choose from. Uh, and the cool thing about this is they really choose the book. They really swipe to the page. They never leave the books app. I mean, it's 100% clean throughout. Uh, and it's free choices. And yeah. yet... You know, from one for, for me to you, I mean, you have what I think is one of the best physical book tests out there. Oh, uh, thank so you. It's just nice to have an option that's sort of in everybody carrying your phone where I can say, hey, choose from one of these six books with nothing to carry around. So it's just yeah. kind of like a nice impromptu thing that you can get into. Yeah, it's great. You can carry it with you. You don't have a, you don't, no, no pocket space it takes. Yes, exactly. Um, here's another here's another one that you showed me. This is Lotto. I have a confession to make. I am the most unlucky person in the world. I don't believe that, but go ahead. I know. Most, oh, people, yeah. most people feel bad for you, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll try to prove it to you. So um, I played the lotto recently. It was mm -hmm. about a week ago, maybe five, six days ago. And uh, you know what? I want you to give me the winning lotto numbers. So I'm going to write it down so we don't forget. So okay. uh, we'll do six numbers. Uh, what is it here? Like uh, 1 through 70, 1 through 65, something like that. I'm not a player. So All right, I don't let's know go 1 through 65. 1 through 65. So I'll write it down so we don't forget. My so I, take, I suggest the numbers? You suggest the winners. So okay. what number is 1? Uh, I like 4. All right. So we're going to do 4. And uh, how about uh, 22? 22. Nice number. And 35. 35. And uh, let's go uh, 51. 51. All right, we got two more. And 60. 60. And uh, 64. And 64. Yeah. Got some low ones and some high ones. I like it. Um, unfortunately, these do look pretty familiar, I have to say. <laughs> I said I'm unlucky, right? Because here, no, look, take a look here. Uh, I'm going to show you in my photo gallery. I took a picture of that uh, lotto ticket. So we're going to go into my photos. And you see right here, there's some food. There's my son. But right here, this is from last Friday. There's a lotto ticket here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Whoa. But if we take a look at the numbers, we have 4 and 4, 22 and 22, 35 and 35, 51 and 51, 60 and 60, and uh, 64 and 63. Goodness. Most unlucky person in the world by one digit. I lost. You would have won. I would have won. But I told you, I'm the most unlucky person in the world because for some reason, I'm always off by one on the last number. One of these days, man. One of these days. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. <laughs> oh, I think I should. You have this set up so it um, it's like the uh, missed it by one kind of effect that I've seen in card tricks, um, but you can can you can you get it so that you can go the exact um, number if you want it. Yes, so you can be a hundred percent spot on if you like. Uh, can be a perfect hit of all six numbers. Uh, I show you this bonus variation where you are miss it by one. Just as I think it's a lot of funny, it, it's funny. It has a lot more drama and the kicker ending. So I prefer that personally. But if you want to be 100% spot on, absolutely. 
Yeah, that's that, that's terrific. Uh, you also have there were seven effects here, and and we let's take a look at another one. This is uh, Word Peak. Um. I want you to think of someone special to you. Okay. All right. Um, and here, just so we can write it down, I'm going to have you show someone, but uh, can you just write that person's name down in the note tab here? And I'll look away and let me know when that's done. Done. What do I do? Okay. Do I hit done? Uh, yeah, if you like. Or actually, you know what? Here, just hold it against your chest. Okay. All right. So uh, you have someone in mind right now. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, you know what? You wrote that down in the note tab. Uh, just go ahead and go back and delete the name, just so it like never existed. So you can delete it, just backspace. It's gone. It's gone. All right, and you can uh, kill the app, just swipe out of it. And now you can leave and lock the phone. Perfect. So think about this now. You have a name. There's no way that I can possibly know unless I genuinely read your mind because you wrote it down, but then you erased it. Mm -hmm. And the phone is locked, so there's no way that I can even know what that person is, right? But just focus on it for a second. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing, is this, this is a male, not, not a female, is that correct? It's, um, it's almost like two syllables. Yeah, uh, yeah two syllables. Just go to A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, it starts with a C. It starts with a C. I'm sorry to see you come together. I'm not sure who this person is, but next time you see Charlie, tell him I said hello. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's really great. Thank yes, you. Yes, it's Charlie, my grandson. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that was super. Thank That's you. Super. Now, uh, of course, that doesn't have to be a person. It can be anything. I imagine you could put a, a piece of fruit or a city or uh, whatever you want you could um, do. Yeah, so you're not like, limited by it. They can write whatever they want. Uh, and just sort of the justification, normally I'd have at least two people there. So uh, it's kind of the same justification as, you know, writing on a billet. You know, why are they doing that? So just thinking of it. So, okay, I don't want you to say anything out loud. So uh, here, just use my notes app. Just write down what you're thinking of and show your friends so they get an idea of what that is as well. Okay, you got it, great. Now go ahead and just delete that and you can lock the phone. So that sort of justifies why they're writing it down to show the other person without verbally saying anything and then we delete it so it's kind of like a center tear yeah yeah a lot like a center tear and it, you know it's it, it's lo almost logical that one would write things if you want to write something down you'd write it in your notes um who carries around a pad and paper anymore i don't think yeah, anybody exactly. does so that's where you would jot something down especially if you wanted to then turn around and show it to somebody it makes good sense yeah it makes good sense <laughs> Photo prediction. There's another one that you demonstrated for me, so I want to I want to show show that to people. I want to imagine that you're walking into a zoo right now. You're mm -hmm. visiting the zoo, and uh, I want you to s just imagine all the different animals that you see there. There's a whole bunch of different exhibits. So you're seeing a whole bunch of animals throughout your day, and then you finally reach that moment where you're walking up to your favorite animal that you've been looking forward to all day. You circle around the map and everything. So you walk up to that exhibit. And not only do you see the animal, but I want you to take in all the senses, the smells, everything around that. So can you create like a vivid image of that animal in your mind right now? Yeah. Okay, just to lock it in, uh, can you write the animal just in the notes app there? And if you're here, I'd have you show that around to people so they would know what you're thinking, but I don't. So don't say anything out loud. And when you're done, just swipe out of the notes app to kill it. And you can place the phone down. Perfect. Uh, actually, you know what? We can lock the phone, too. Just press the button on the side. There you go. So you're thinking of this animal right now, and what I didn't tell you was I actually went to Zoom myself. It was about five days ago, and I was looking forward to seeing one animal in particular. As a matter of fact, not only was I looking forward to it, but I took a picture of it, and I thought that would be relevant to you today. And actually, I saved it as the wallpaper on my phone, which I haven't even touched this entire time. So for the first time, what animal were you thinking of? I was thinking of a gorilla. A gorilla. Can you go ahead and turn over my phone and I'll unlock the screen and see what we see? There it is, a gorilla. Let's <laughs> show that. That's amazing. Crazy, right? That is terrific. So now we can bond over gorillas, too. <laughs> <laughs> Magic and gorillas. Thank you, David. I have to say that I got such a kick out of the fact 
that you can make that um, appear as wallpaper. I, <laughs> I, I just think that it's a, that's a hysterical. <laughs> to me, that's, that's great. That is wonderful. But that's not it alone. You can do, you don't have to do it that way. No, so it can appear as your wallpaper or in your photo gallery. Um, and it also doesn't have to be an animal. Uh, I prefer it for the presentation and some other reasons. But, I mean, they could really be thinking of, like, a musical instrument or whatever. But uh, the cool thing is, uh, one, the, the wallpaper just seems so direct. And I love when the phone's locked. Yeah. They just push it and see it. It's so visual. Yeah. But uh, if it appears in your gallery, you know, I said I went to the zoo five days ago. The timestamp that photo was taken is from five days ago. And then there's actually two photos saved after that from three days prior and then from yesterday. So, I mean, everything checks out and looks exactly as it should. So you had totally clean. And it's crazy to think that, you know, that that wasn't taken five days ago. That really, like, was just on the spot there. Uh, but everything is then sorted automatically to look as authentic as possible. I, I'm amazed um, how many people... Uh, how many effects you have in this? How, how long did it take you to put this thing together? Uh, this was over a year in development. And I'll actually let me rephrase that active development because some editions will say, oh, yeah, I've been working on this for three years or a year. But they were, that's when they started working on it. And then it went on the back burner and then, you know, a little bit here and there. This was like constantly working on so much so that uh, leading up to this launch at the time we're filming this yesterday. Uh, I mean, I think for the past three weeks, I've barely gotten sleep because I've just been working on this all day, all night, just getting everything fine-tuned and ready for the launch. So uh, this has been a huge labor of love for over a year, and I'm so glad to finally share it with everyone. Uh, a year, it's it's amazing. It's it's amazing. Um, you did show me uh, this other one that uses a, a feature on the iPhone that I, I wasn't even aware that it existed, and... and um, you use that in vacation. So let's take a look at vacation. So uh, I want you to imagine going on an incredible vacation. Have you traveled recently at all? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we went to Japan last year. Japan, yeah, nice. Great. All right, well, uh, we're going to go to someplace new this time. Okay. Maybe if you've been or haven't been. Um, so first of all, what you said you just went recently, but mm -hmm. if you could go again, what date would you love to travel on next? It could be your birthday, an anniversary, in or just future? a random day. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, got, I have a date. Which day would that July. be? July. Which... July. But we'll go on my birthday, 15th. July 15th. All right, nice. I like it. Uh, so this happens to be a list of the top 20 travel hotspots in the world. I was in a travel magazine. So what I'd like you to do is just take a look at the list. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see there's all sorts of incredible places on there. Yeah. So really you're going like to pick this. anyone you like. Uh, so I think that I have made a prediction here, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. I, I know where I want to go. Okay. Now, where do you want to go? I want to go to Tahiti. Tahiti? Tahiti, never been. Nice yeah. choice, Sounds nice like choice. place to go. All right, so we can do this here. So, look, I'm going to show you, because right here in my photo gallery, I have undeniable proof that I knew exactly what you would say. Really? Yes. Okay. Prove Undeniable proof. Prove it. All right, well, look, we'll take care of my photo gallery. My most recent photo is a picture of a beach in Tahiti. Yeah, okay. Well, you could got that on the South Shore of Long Island. No, 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 no. You see that quality of the beach sand there, that water that is 100% only in Tahiti. Uh, your water is a little bit bluer than it is on <laughs> All right, well, for those who can't see, uh, all of these are, like, beach destinations. Yeah. This literally could have been any one of these, could have been but Puerto Rico, could have been Cape Town, could have been Aruba, could have been any of them. But it is Tahiti. It is Tahiti. Yeah, that, that's it. Prove that. Prove it. All right. Well, one thing that you may or may not know is do you do any other photography? Oh yeah. So you might know that every photo that you take saves a location on the back end of it. Yeah. And that's on your phone too. So if you swipe up here, you'll see there is a location. And can you see where that is from? Tahiti. Tahiti. <laughs> you can even look on the map right here, and it'll show you that that is in beautiful Tahiti. That is Tahiti. And, and that Tahiti. is proof. But you also picked a date that I you want to go to as well. You said, what was it July 15th. July 15th. Not only do they show you where the photo was taken, but they show you when it was taken. And this would be a crazy coincidence, but can you look right here at the top? July 15th, 2023, that photo was taken. So you went to Haiti last year on my birthday. 
Perhaps. Maybe I downloaded it. Some photographer <laughs> did, <fantastic>. but <laughs> that is a wild coincidence. Okay, sure, it's a coincidence. Perfect. So um, I did not know that you can actually, um, that when it shows the location where you took the picture, that you can actually get a map of that particular area and you took advantage of that feature, which is just incredible. Yeah, I can show a little close up here. Maybe it oh, didn't show up as well yeah. in the performance. So uh, this is your generic picture, picture of a beach, which is really this is a fifty-two on one gag when you think about it, because it's undeniable proof that I know what you think of when you see the list. Every one of those is a tropical destination. So this gets a lot of laughs intentional because you build up the the proof. Uh, but then when you swipe up, this is true on any photo. You'll see here that there is a map and right next to my finger i'm not sure if it's in focus but it says tahiti and then you can actually click on the map and then bring it full screen and you can see exactly the country and the where it was oops yep we'll go back there yeah so you can see the actual full map view of where it was taken as the proof and then when you go back you get this whole second kicker where right here it says the date or back at the top of the photo It'll say, uh, I don't know if that's in focus, but Tahiti and July 15th. So I just think it's so funny that, you know, one, you get this clearly a comedy gag, but hidden within this innocent gag photo is two amazing kickers that they don't see that just brings it full circle. And when you think about it, there were 20 locations. Yeah, there's yeah, there are. Five days in the year. Yeah, uh, so... There's thousands of outs, and the inputs are happening in real time in under two seconds. It's amazing. That's handsome. That really looks like it came right out of a magazine. Oh, yeah. Nicholas Mavrasis, my friend, uh, did the graphics on that. And uh, I have to give him a shout out because he did a wonderful job. He sure did. Hey, let's take a look at um, uh, some of the things I think people should know about um, about this. It's 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 this combination of uh, limitations as well as features. So let's take a look. Yeah. It's not an app, and and um, what do you mean by that? It's not an app. It's not a piece of software I have to download from uh, the app store. So this is using Shortcuts, which is a program that Apple offers preloaded on your phones from iOS 13 and later. So uh, it's available on iPhone only. But just make sure you have a compatible iOS so you can run Shortcuts. And uh, so basically it's using that platform, which was designed to help automate certain things in your life. But the intention was not for magic. But when you see it, oh, my God, is this like a magician mentalist wet dream? The things that you can do with this stuff that wasn't necessarily intended for, but is all, you know, in the play box and authorized by Apple. And it's just fantastic. Um, you say it's easy to perform. Uh, do I have a lot of stuff I have to memorize? Uh, a lot of buttons I have to press? No, I have to swipe so, up, swipe down, yeah. swipe left, <laughs> swipe right. Do I have this to do any of that stuff? This could not be easier. So uh, some of them, like the photo prediction you guys just saw, I do nothing. It all happens by itself. I don't have to lift a finger or anything. Uh, other routines, it's as simple as the press of a button, whether that's on your phone, or I will talk about this in a second, but like a cheap, inexpensive Bluetooth selfie remote, 100% optional. But if you do have one, which again is like six, seven bucks on Amazon, that just makes some of the routines, gives them like an optimal handling for one or two of the routines. But you can do everything you see on the project with just your phone, so it's not required. But it's as simple as the press of a button, or uh, it just happens on its own, or maybe you do um, like a quick input that takes two seconds, or it, it's just, it couldn't be easier. There's no crazy swiping or anything like that. I like easy. I like easy. Now you say everything, um, uh, every effect ends clean. Um, and I assume that means if I give my phone to somebody else, they're not going to be able to run it backwards and see some website that, uh, that they might find uh, out the secret. No. So your phone is totally example at the end. Uh, not that people like to dig through your phone, but no, right. uh, if they did want to they would not find out how you did it because everything is is covered in the end there's no trace of a method good good um so this is really cool so some of the things that um 
are inputted. Uh, it can work in any language. So all of these work in any language in the world. And that's because uh, I didn't really advertise this, but on the back end of a lot of these where it would be language dependent, uh, I built in for Google to detect the language and translate that to English on the background, then run all the tasks in English and then give the output at the end. So you can write it in Chinese characters, Japanese letters, whatever you want, and then it'll still function correctly. And my and my the book test function will work regardless of whether or not I'm looking at uh, Spanish books or French books yep, or whatever. It doesn't matter because the the text in the book is not part of the method. Um, and you know I, I I can tell just from our conversations that there's a lot of flexibility, but you're not married to any particular um, uh, presentation here. You can pretty much vary things vary the outcomes, vary the, the presentations. You have a lot of flexibility um, in, in, these, um, in the effects. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, from presentational ways to different handlings to different input methods, a lot is covered on here, and there's a lot of variety in all the effects. Um, three and a half hours of video instructions. My eyes are hurting just thinking about this. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of these long tutorials. Uh, I love Craig Petty. He's, I consider him a friend, but I'm not a fan of his, you know, marathon 10 hour tutorials. So I try to make this as short as possible, but I mean, you have to remember we're dealing with seven effects here. So if you want to break it down, thankfully it is chaptered into individual videos for each effect. So if you're looking at any individual effect, you're talking about anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes per effect which I think is, you know, the proper... That's reasonable. Yeah, that's time. reasonable. I, think uh, the, the, I will the, just point out one thing that's important yeah. is the setup here, because a lot of people are going to ask about that. So there is the longest video on here is about 45 minutes, and that is a setup video. So basically what I do is I tell you to take your phone and you watch the tutorial with your phone in hand, and in real time, I walk you through step-by-step step how to perform it. So you see me doing it on my wife's phone, which has nothing installed. You just follow the same steps as I do on the screen on your phone watching along. And within an hour, let's say 45, 50-ish minutes or so, you'll have everything set up. And again, I make it as easy as possible because I hold your hand through everything and basically just show you all in real time on the screen. So you just copy and do it as I do, and then you're all set up. Even I could do it? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> um, now, yeah, uh, some of the effects require internet, but not Wi-Fi, right? No. So uh, for, I think, two or three of the routines, you will need a data connection. So as long as your phone has service or a signal, uh, you'll be able to form those. But most of them work offline, where even if you have no signal at all, uh, for example, the book test, you can still do no matter where you are. Um, you mentioned this already, but um, some of the effects um, uh, may be enhanced, maybe even a little bit uh, more fun to perform um, if you have a, an inexpensive Bluetooth. And they're pretty easy to find. I mean, I think I got a, a few on Amazon. Um, and did you say to me before that um, you can, um, uh, you put a, you, you have a link to, to, that you provide. Oh, yeah. So in, in the PDF that comes with Black Mirror, uh, I just link to one that I prefer on Amazon, but okay. they're anywhere from like six to eight dollars and okay. uh, they're very cheap and uh, they, they're not required, but it just gives you a little optimal handling with like one or two of the routines. So it's recommended. Now, I, I assume the PDF also has the magazine page and then you just go print it out on your computer. Oh, yeah. That. So the travel list of the top 20 yeah. and for the birthday gift routine, which you'll see in the trailer if you watch that. Um, we just have a PDF for those. So you can print those out or you can just uh, send them or text them to someone so you can look at it on their phone. But I just have mine folded up in my wallet. It takes up no space. And um you know, I, I saw this when I when I looked on your uh, on your web page, and it said that it could be integrated with Inject as well as other yes. um, apps. And um, t tell me about that. Tell tell me uh, what do you, what's going on here. Sure. So this is really exciting, and this is where it takes stuff to the next level. So uh, at launch, it supports Inject from Greg Rastami, and then Shamir Salim's uh, wonderful apps QR Genie and Hydra. So, for example, with Hydra, I can do the word peak, 
reveal uh, the word that they're thinking of. And they'll say, actually, you know what? Take on your phone, go to my Instagram, and then on my Instagram bio, it'll say, like, whatever you want. The word of today is airplane, and that's what they thought of. Uh, so that also appears as a prediction in your Instagram bio, which, again, could happen on their phone, which is really cool and just takes a, a new ending to that effect just to the next level. And inject is the one that I'm really excited about because uh, this allows for you to be on your phone, uh, and that's where the inputs are actually happening, which is – just takes us to the next level. So actually, I haven't shown this before, but I can do a quick demo with you. If you'd like. Let's do that. Let's do that. Sure. So um, normally, I'd, I don't want to expose anything with Inject, but I would take your phone for a second and go to Google. So let's just say I did that. You were here with me. So okay. uh, I just loaded Google on your phone. So are, okay. are you there? Uh, okay. Here perfect. I am. Uh, so I am going to go into Google Maps on my phone right here. And I'm mm -hmm. going to type in a city that I think is going to be relevant in a moment. All right, searched it. Okay, it's just loaded. Uh, normally, I would be hands off, but I'm just going to place this here so it's in full view. I just want to be clear. I'm not touching the screen. I'm not doing anything. And uh, you're at Google. I want you to just search for any city in the world you'd love to go visit. Okay, I I'm, okay. I I found one. Perfect. So uh, if you look at that, you're probably seeing some photos of that city, maybe the current weather information like that. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I see a picture of the city. I see the weather. I see uh, a little map. Okay, very cool. So now you're seeing those pictures. You get a sense of the weather. You can really envision yourself there right now, yes? I, I can. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Now, I don't want anyone to think that there's any, like, voice recognition or anything. So we're just going to show our screens at the same time, see if I got this right. So okay. on the count of three, we're just going to show our phones to the camera. One, okay. two, three. Let's see how I did. Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. So there you go. That is... 100% clean on my phone. They're really in Las That's Vegas. It. And That's Las that's Vegas. That's the way of having the input on their phone. And as you see, part of my presentation is how that's all justified as well. So that is using Inject, which is another app. But that pairs so good with uh, Black Mirror. So we were talking uh, about like, photo super. prediction earlier. Imagine you searching for that animal so you can really visualize it. And then you unlock my phone and you just press the button. And there's the picture of that out of the wallpaper. It's just crazy. It's great. It's great. So one last thing. Uh, all of those effects are available in one package that costs just thirty nine ninety five. I think that is amazing. Yeah. Um, I think it's a bargain, personally. I mean, if you <laughs> use this, like, one or two of these... I feel like you already have value for your money right there. I mean, forty dollars for these seven effects, and considering—I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but like they're all so strong that just. Oh, you can. You can toot your horn. You deserve it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the value per effect here, I, I just think is insane value. So, uh, but that's good. I hope people get a lot out of this and they enjoy it. And as I said, you know, even if you only have one or two that you're going to use, you're still for only forty dollars. It's crazy. Now it's um, it's distributed by Murphy's, so it's available all over the place. But um, why not uh, people go right to David's uh, website, which is davidjonathanmagic.com. Um, there they can see some fun trailers, and yeah. um, they can see as well as Black Mirror and and details about Black Mirror and purchase it there. Um, they could also see all those other. Uh, those other products that yeah. uh, that Jonathan uh, David is uh, David Jonathan has produced and it, it makes available to people. So uh, so I you know ho hope that they'll go visit your website. That's uh, that's great. Yeah, so it's available as an instant download. So you just buy it, you get access immediately. You start learning it, uh, and it's available through all Murphy's dealers as well. So, well. 
David, I, I can't thank you enough for uh, visiting with me today. Uh, I, I appreciate uh, that you came on uh, uh, on the Magic Review. Uh, I hope people um, uh, inundate you with orders. So, uh, <laughs> so until the next time we get together, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining me today. And good luck with your project. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And it was fun to come over and uh, do the performances for you the other day. So uh, it's nice that we're close enough that we can do that. Uh, but I'm honored to be on here. I had a wonderful time. And hopefully everyone watching uh, enjoyed it as well. Okay. Thanks. And so long. Well, uh, that's it for today. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, our visit with David Jonathan. He is a prolific magic inventor. Um, I think um, you really should consider getting the Black Mirror Project um, for $39.95. It sure packs a wallop. Um, you know, there are a lot of magic apps out there. Um, and... Um, you know, they they can get pretty expensive. For thirty nine ninety five, you have um, um, seven incredible effects um, that you can tailor, make your own. Um, you have it with you all the time, perfect for impromptu magic. So uh, so do consider it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and um, I hope that you will share it with your uh, friends. I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. I hope you uh, will subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, and I hope that you'll take a few minutes to go to davidjonathanmagic.com and check out uh, the Black Mirror Project and some of the other amazing products that he has to sell. So... Until next time, well, go have fun making magic happen.